The most common reason we see people for shoulder problems uh, usually is the non-operative things, uh, things like uh, shoulder strains, um, something called impingement syndrome, which is like a constellation of, of symptoms, instability, rotator cuff tears, um, fractures. Uh, we um, see a variety of reasons why people come in with shoulders. Probably the next most common thing would be a rotator cuff tear. The steps that uh, we take with a patient with a rotator cuff tear, essentially is if they have a loss of strength or something called a drop arm sign. So if you push down and they can't resist against you and they have a significant loss in strength, uh, normally what we'll do is we'll get a uh, MRI again to confirm the tear and make sure there's nothing else going on inside the shoulder. And the most rotator cuff tears are operative. I was doing a kick return in, a, in my senior year and uh, I got tackled and laid on and uh, my shoulder popped out of place and at first I thought it was just kind of like dislocated. I just like put it back in. I went off to the sidelines and uh, Dr. Madsen was there and he was checking it out and he told me that, uh, well he advised me that I should rest but I went on and played that game and I went in to see him the next day and got the MRI and stuff and I uh, couldn't really lift my arm and stuff so I knew there was something wrong. He sustained a very bad uh, shoulder uh, dislocation which, which also caused a fracture into his um, what's called the humeral head or the ball part of the shoulder. Um, he, uh, he was easily the best player on the team when that happened. He told me that my labrum was torn and so I had to get the surgery as soon as possible. He missed his, most of his senior year. He rehabbed exceptionally well, uh, underwent surgery, had a great result, incredibly hard worker, and uh, he also went on got a college football scholarship. It was really emotional because I had a lot of like, I was I had a lot of offers and I was worried that I was going to lose those offers and not be able to play. But uh, I started playing college football at Stony Brook University in New York this year. My left shoulder is stronger than my right shoulder now actually. And uh, I mean he's done a couple other football players that are playing in college right now so we're all still playing. That's all that really matters.